Ah, you're back again. Welcome, I'm Didier. I'll show you another repair case. Come along. I'm working on a Spider Cam Am today, a BRP vehicle. The Spider is from 2008, a 990s two cylinder engine. The customer complains that the machine is not running well. It sputters and misfires. I have now connected the VCI to the diagnostic plug. I'm working with the Megamax 56. The vehicle has an odometer reading of 63,000 kilometers. Let's take a look at the parameters to see what's going on. Take further steps. We're establishing connection now. Now we add as many measured values as possible. Here we have a listing of the vehicle parameters. For example, the position of the throttle handle. We see the TBS value is set to 0.2, which is fine, as well as the battery voltage that shows 12.4 volts. Now we'll start the engine. And now we see a difference. We see the intake air pressure of the two cylinders here. Cylinder 1 between 13 and 14 M bar, and cylinder 2 between 7 and 8 M bar. You can see that something's wrong. The displayed values are really not good. Another important thing, the battery voltage. The displayed battery voltage is not sufficient. That does not sound good. Uh, so there, besides it stinks. Here is really a problem with the setting of the mixture processing. We have two values here that don't look good. In case of two cylinders, the millibar values are normally similar. In addition, we just noticed that the battery voltage is very low. We're only getting 13.2 volt. 13.2 volt is not a lot. Many power consumers are installed on such a machine. For example, anti-slip control, ABS, and rollover protection. For this reason, a large battery is installed, which is located under the side that must be powered by the alternator. We now give the customer a cost estimate for the alternator and regulator, in other words, for the charging function of the battery. Then we take a close look at the engine to check these differences in intake air pressure. We will then provide the customer with the cost estimate for alternator and regulator and other faults detected. Okay, let's continue. See you next time. Bye-bye.